I often think that I have the privilege of having a front row seat on all that the Lord is doing through the Diocese of New England. In cities and rural communities across the Northeast, our churches are finding fresh and authentic ways to build trusted relationship with the neighborhoods they serve. The arts, music, children's sports camps, working with local schools, programs to increase child literacy, gardening projects, Alpha, innovative new ways to introduce people to God's Word. These are just some of the ways that the Holy Spirit is leading us so that many more people would know who Jesus really is. We are so much stronger together and working together, we have prayerfully identified four key diocesan priorities that undergird all that the Lord is leading us in. Four deep commitments to keep the flame of the Spirit burning in all our churches. Firstly, we are deeply committed to children and young people. This year, in faith, we've invited Craig Vickerman to serve our churches part-time as Director for Family Ministry. Canon Craig is building regular diocesan youth retreats for young people across New England. Now, for churches with smaller numbers of youth and children, these retreats are critical. Not least, they ensure that our young people gather regularly and in large number. Craig is also developing resources for parents to disciple their children and students, together with training for the leaders of our children and youth ministry. Secondly, we are deeply committed to church planting. Canon Justin Howard is implementing a bold church planting strategy that includes diverse ways of creating a missional movement of churches. And this has included the financial support that we've been able to provide to our diocesan church planters. Under Justin's leadership, it is a joy to see the cathedral develop as one of our first centers of missional excellence. A bold residency program at the cathedral is arising and in time intends to send out missional leaders across New England. Thirdly, we are deeply committed to leadership development. This commitment falls under two heads. Under the leadership of Canon Susan Skillen, an experienced pastoral team has instituted an annual rhythm of care for clergy, focusing upon their spiritual, emotional, and physical well-being. Spiritual direction, Christian counseling, mentoring, retreats, and regular spiritual health checkups help us to care for our clergy. But at the same time, we're also committed to providing our leaders with strategic tools to take the Lord's vision and put it into action. We've appointed Josh Venada as Director for Strategic Leadership Development. Josh is creating a team of strategic coaches to work with our clergy and their vestries. In June of this year, our annual missional planning conference gathered our leaders and their teams to give them space to develop strategic missional plans for their churches with clear goals and clear objectives. This was the second missional planning conference and our leaders all reported that this work was providing invaluable in growing their congregations and advancing the kingdom in moving forward on God-inspired initiatives. Finally, we are committed to the reawakening of New England. And by this, I mean the constant desire to bring our churches together and make space for the Holy Spirit, to heal, envision, call, anoint, and encourage us. This very much includes the annual ADE Reawakening Conference, a New England-wide conference with outstanding guest speakers, anointed worship, and seminar speakers who are truly experts in their field. Our shared ministry is expansive, creative, impactful, and it's full of hope. To use a sporting analogy, we are punching way above our weight. The Lord is raising our profile as He raises His banner of love over us. This year, it was my privilege to be the keynote speaker for the United Nations annual prayer breakfast. And this August, we made an impactful trip to Uganda, visiting churches and communities across the country with the good news of the gospel. And in all of this, we have come to an inflection point. Thank you to all of you who have given to the work of your local church and to our shared ministry as a diocese. But if we are to faithfully get behind all the Lord is calling us to, then we need to continue to pull together. As you can imagine, it takes considerable financial resources to accomplish what God has prepared for us. But I firmly believe this is well within our grasp. Let me give you an example. If just 500 of us gave 
to the Anglican Diocese of New England an additional $500, we would see an increase in our budget of $250,000. Can you imagine that, what that would do to our commitment to children, young people, church planting, renewal, and so on? Our presence in New England can only be explained as a move of God's Holy Spirit. So can I ask you to pray and ask as God is inviting you to sow into that move of his spirit. A shared calling from Maine to Connecticut, a geography that is often caricatured as the rocky soil of the Northeast. But we know that in Jesus, our labors are not in vain and that the best wine always comes from the rockiest soil. Thank you for taking the time to consider this appeal. God bless you. Ooh. Mm -hmm.